a lot of people say that green cars are dull um, and aren't entertaining to drive and I've driven some of these cars and they are absolutely fantastic. Um, acceleration is phenomenal, top speed's amazing. They're completely different to any sort of normal car but the experience is absolutely electric. Well, this is really the world's first production electric racing car. Uh, it's been developed for us and with us for the EV Cup, which kicks off in America in uh, November. And uh, the car is based on a, a Westfield chassis, but with obviously a, a lot of changes in design, completely different bodywork, uh, and then electric power. So it, it, it's, a, it's a tried and trusted chassis, but with a complete new look and feel to the whole thing. This, this car is pretty quick, uh, I mean it's just been on the track for the first time, I took it out the other day and within uh, a couple of miles of, of going out in it, literally turning a wheel for the first time, I was doing 115 miles an hour, no problem at all. And it's got tremendous acceleration, so it's acceleration to get there is very, very fast indeed. This is the Delta E4 Coupe, designed and built in Great Britain. It's a two-door, four-seat, high-performance electric car, capable of 150 miles per hour and 200 miles on a single charge. The car itself, as a four-seater, has been designed to be more practical. Uh, we looked very hard at whether it was two-seat or four-seat, and uh, there's a lot of anxiety about whether you actually need four seats. I think the reality is you don't, but um, you know we found it important to, to have that flexibility for, for children or family members to actually come along and enjoy an electric car. Well here we've got the electric Bluebird which is going for the, uh, the UK attempt at the electric land speed record. Uh, it's being driven by the grandson of Sir Donald Campbell uh, and the attempt's going to happen soon enough and uh, hopefully the car will exceed 500 miles an hour from electric power which is again absolutely amazing.